very eerie. <laughs> Is that a good word? Um, I, I think everyone's just doing what they can, but at the same time, it bothers you. Especially here around Elmer's, because you can hear all the ambulance. It's like a battlefield behind your home. Oh, it's terrifying here because we're downwind of this of, of a hospital that's the epicenter of the of the national crisis. So yeah, I'm terrified to go outside just because, you know, and also walk on, on along this strip because everyone that's headed to the hospital, which we could see from here, is strolling through here. You know, right now, as you can see, New York City is usually pretty busy right now, but it's empty. I don't buy the place. Well, you figure once you get upstairs, you don't, really don't pay attention to outside. You know, so it, when you're at home, it kind of feels normal, but when you get outside, it comes the reality of what's really going on when you're outside. I get a lot of calls from family members and friends that aren't in New York that are watching the news coverage, which seems like World War III is going on here. But when you're living here and you're not dealing with symptoms and you've kind of got things sorted out, it you do feel disconnected from it a bit. What you're watching on TV, you can't believe that's right where you live, you know? This is radically different from 9-11 because after 9-11 we all got together and held each other's hands and hugged and cried and, and had dinners and drank and the isolation is incredibly difficult. It really is. <laughs> Sweetie, soon. Dinner soon. Dinner soon. Give my love to Sean. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.